everybody. I hope you all enjoyed the nice weather that we had yesterday and had a chance to play outside and just have a nice day. Let's get started with our calendar and let's sing our month of the year song. And today you can do a jumping jack and twirl around and sit down. Okay, so we'll sing the month of the year song. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Perfect. And if you can remember, it's the same month that it was last week. It was the same month that it was on Easter, and that is April. So we know it's April. Yesterday was Tuesday, so that makes today Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday, and tomorrow will already be Thursday. And today we know is something very special. It's Owen's birthday. It's April 22nd. So yesterday we had a 21 and it was purple. So we had purple, purple, blue, blue, purple, purple. So we need a purple 22. And let's sing our Days of the Week song and we'll clap when we get to Wednesday. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Great. I think our caterpillars like these songs. I can see them moving around over there. So now I feel like I'm at least teaching somebody. All right, let's read this. It says today is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. And we'll do our secret code. So the first number is going to stay the same as yesterday. So we know that's a four for the month of April. In the middle, we need a 22 for the date. And then finally, we need a 20. Awesome. Great. All right. Yesterday, it was 134 days. So today, 135. Great. All right. All right. Let's count by tens. Here we go. 10, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Great, let's try by fives. Five, 10, 50, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Great. And let's try twos all the way to 30. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Good job, you're getting good at that, that's for sure. All right, so let's add one more to the ones place. All right, and we have one group of 100, three groups of 10, and five ones. So we have 100, 10, 20, 30, 130, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 135 days we've been working so hard. All right, let's take a guess at home. Brothers and sisters can guess too. Two. All right, one. Two. Okay. So let's think. We have two plus two plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two plus eight equals what? I wonder what you think. How about ten? You got it. That's not a very good 10, but I think you understand. 
All right, today's weather looks like it is cloudy. But we'll see, hopefully, this, hopefully the sun pokes out and we'll have some cloudy weather and we'll have some nice weather. All right, so yesterday we had a dime, one dime and a dime is worth 10 cents, a nickel, five cents, and we had two pennies, and that's two cents. So all together, that was 17 cents. So if we add one more penny, 17 plus one more, one more than 17 would be 18. So let's count them up again. We had 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 with our nickel, 16, 17, 18, 18 cents all together. So in a couple days, we will do some more trading when we get up to 20. All right, great. Nice job with our calendar. We'll do our devotion. Ah, this is a great one. It says, love your neighbor. And the second command is like the first. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Dear God, thank you for loving me. I want to love my neighbors like you love me. Help me to put others first and to show them that I love them too. In his name, amen. At school, that is such an easy devotion to follow because we're so nice to our friends all the time and we have lots of chances to help out the people around us, whether it's helping them clean up their toys, sharing a crayon or a pencil, um, or helping a friend up who fell down on the playground. During school, there's lots of chances to do that. But at this time at home, we all, we're only really seeing our family and the people in our houses. Do our families count as neighbors? They sure do. So we can always do those nice things to help them. And also, maybe you could draw nice um, sidewalk chalk pictures for your neighbors to see that might brighten their day. Or if you see a neighbor or a friend in your um on your street taking a walk, you could open your door and wave and say hi. That might brighten somebody's day too. So think outside the box on ways that you can help love your neighbor and make them feel special during this kind of crazy time. All right, how about you get your whiteboard and remember you can always pause it if you need a little bit of extra time. Today, we're going to practice writing a couple sentences, a couple addition questions and a couple subtraction questions again. Okay, the first sentence that we're going to write is, I like to kick. I like to kick. And my TV just turned on by itself, so I'm going to go turn that off. All right. I like to kick. Don't forget to have a period at the end. And don't forget about that super cup. I like to kick. Great. Let's try the next one. The cup is hot. The cup is hot. The cup is hot. Don't forget, if we're, if we're thinking about the word cup, k -k -k, we know K takes I and E and C takes the other three. Okay, so k up, up, up. What letter do we need for cup? The cup is hot. And don't forget a period and a capital letter and spaces in between. Okay, we see a cat. We see a cat. 
we see a cat. Good job. And let's do one more sentence. He is a fun kid. He is a fun kid. And don't forget that rule. K takes I and E and C takes the other three. Kid. K -id. So which K sound do we need for the word kid? He is a fun kid. He is a fun kid. So I hope you picked the letter K for the word kid. Good job. All right, let's change gears a little bit to do some math, okay? We'll do addition first and then a couple of subtraction. So first addition, how about seven plus two? All right, let's try it. Seven plus two. If you already have your answer, great. If we need to count a picture, let's do that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome. Seven plus two equals nine. Great. Let's try 11 plus three. So I'll give you a second to work on that one. And let's try this one with a number line. All right, so here's our number line at the bottom. And if we started over here at 11, and we need to move forward three spaces, let's try it. One, two, three. And that number is 14 that we landed on. So 11 plus three is 14. All righty. The next one, Nine plus zero. Hmm. Let's try that one on our fingers. If we have nine and we're not adding any more, it's going to stay at nine. It equals, you got it, nine. Okay, then let's try one more adding. We'll try five plus three. All right, so let's take a look. I bet a lot of you did that on your own, but if we need to count a picture, let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five plus three equals eight. Awesome. All right, now let's do some subtraction. Let's try nine minus four. Okay, so you could try that on your own and then we'll do it together with a picture. Nine minus four. So we have you started with one big group of nine and we're gonna subtract. So straight line means subtract. And we're gonna take away four. One, two, three, four. Let's see how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Nine minus four equals five. Okay. Let's try six minus three. Six minus three. So let's try this one on our fingers. We start with six and we need to put down three fingers. So let's put down one, two, three. We have three fingers left. Six minus three equals three. Oops. Let's try the next one. Five minus, or five take away one. Let's do a number line for this one. Okay. 
So if I start at five, and this time we're taking away, we're making things smaller, so we're gonna go backwards. So we got five minus one, and we landed on the number four. So five minus one equals four. All right, one more for us today. Let me get a tricky one. So we got 10 minus nine. We have 10, take away nine. So if I started with 10 donuts and I came along and ate nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm left with just one. 10 minus nine is one. All right, great job today, everybody. Happy, happy birthday, Owen. I hope you all are having a really nice week. And I will see you again tomorrow.